Welcome to the audio and visual methods description for our paper Voluntary Task Switching in an Invertebrate – The Effect of Cue and Reward Change The description will mostly cover experiment 1. So, let us begin. Each experimental trial begins with a training phase. The aim of the training phase is to teach the tested ants three things. Firstly, the ants must learn that food is available on both sides of the tea maze. Second, they must learn that the food may be of low quality, so 0.25 molar, or of high quality, so 1 molar. And finally, the ants must learn to associate the quality of the food with odour and visual cues. We use two sets of odour and visual cue combinations. Blue and white visual cues are combined with a rosemary scent, while yellow and black cues are combined with a lemon scent. The quality each cue comb combination signals was varied systematically, so for half the ants the blue and rosemary signalled high quality and for the other half they signalled low quality. Now note that the tea maze used during the training phase is constrained, that is a gap prevents ants from reaching one arm of the tea maze, forcing them to use the other. This allows us to ensure an equal number of visits to both sides of the tea maze. Visual cues are placed just beyond both arms of the tea maze and just beyond the tea maze centre. Scented and coloured food is placed on feeders at the end of both arms. Finally, the maze is covered with scented paper overlays. The overlays are not actually coloured, the colour is for illustration purposes only. We're now ready to begin the experiment. Using a drawbridge mechanism, an ant is allowed up onto the maze. She soon finds the drop of sugar and begins drinking from it. While drinking, the ant is marked on the abdomen with a dot of acrylic paint. And when it is drunk its fill, it will return to the nest, where it will unload the food to its nestmates and eventually attempt to return to the tea maze for a second visit. While in the nest, the overlays and the sugar are removed, as is the rest of the maze, and is replaced by a mirror image which is also covered in overlays and with scented sugar. And then the ant is allowed back up. It drinks and returns as before. Now the maze is removed again and replaced by the mirror image again. But this time the other visual cues and odour cues are used and the high quality food is provided. The marked ant is allowed back and again it drinks and returns to the nest. And again, the ant is forced to experience high quality food on both sides of the tea maze. Here you can see the order of training visit treatments. Low and high refer to the food quality, while the L's and R's show the open side of the maze. Note that the first two visits are to low food quality. This is important, as if we had started with a high quality reward, the ants would suffer from a negative contrast effect. In other words, they would have become spoiled and refused to drink the low quality sugar. All ants underwent the same quality order during training, but the initial directions and the associations between the quality and the cues was systematically varied. After training, the ants undergo a probe. In this probe, we're testing whether the association between the cues and the reward qualities has worked. So now we have given the ants a full, that is, unconstrained maze. One side offers high quality food and the other offers low quality food and both sides offer the appropriate associated cues. An ant is allowed up, the same marked ant, and we note first its initial decision, that is, does it crow cross a decision line three centimeters from the tea maze center? And we note its final decision as well, that is, which sugar it initially in hits first. Once again, the high and low reward sides are varied systematically between ants. Almost all the ants do go indeed towards the high quality food source, showing that association worked very well. We now proceed to the test phase. We again have a fully unconstrained maze, but this time the maze offers the same reward cues and the same reward on both sides of the tea maze. So the ant is allowed up and its initial and final paths uh, choices are noted. 
We also count the pheromone depositions on the stem and the head of the maze for both the outwards and return journey. Pheromone deposition is a highly stereotyped behavior in Lanzius Niger, and I will now show you a brief video which demonstrates it. So here is an ant feeding, and it's about to leave. One, two, three dots. And these are very easy to count by eye, which is what we do. So, back to testing. We had noted which arm of the T maze the ant chose, and then let it go back to the nest. When in the nest, we either replace the overlays and rewards with identical ones, or we replace the rewards and the cues with the alternative set. When the ant comes back up, we note whether it chooses the same arm of the maze or switches to the different arm. The proportion of switching choices is our measure of the voluntary switch rate. We used two orders of food quality in our testing phase, and you can see below them the resultant change in reward quality the ants experience over each visit. Order 2 was added as it's less patent than order 1, but frankly, it is highly unlikely that ants could extrapolate the last three visits of order 1 from the first five. After the testing phase, ants underwent another probe. Again, almost all of the ants chose the arm with a high quality food, showing that the association between the cues and the quality was maintained throughout the experiment. Finally, after this probe, the tested ant was what we can euphemistically term excluded from all future testing. Experiment 2 was run as a control for cue changes. Note that in experiment 1, two things are co-varied, the quality of the reward and the cues the ants are exposed to. To examine the effect of cue change alone, we ran experiment 2, in an identical manner to experiment 1. However, here all the rewards offered in each trial were of the same quality. Half of the ants were tested with only high quality rewards, and the other half only with low quality rewards. Thank you very much for watching this audiovisual methods description. We hope you found it both interesting and helpful.